Serve the Margot at dinner and keep the Haute-Briand for tomorrow. No, the, the 99 if we have enough. I want to go out with a bang. And you can choose the white. Very good, my lord. Downton Abbey on Masterpiece on PBS is, of course, a work of fiction. I've arranged for Dame Nellie's accompanist to sleep with the male servants. Well, I doubt he'd expect to sleep with the female ones. But the show is filmed at the real Highclere Castle estate in England. And while British Import Telescope hasn't got a walk-on role just yet, he knows all the right people to ask. I grew up here at Highclere, which is probably one of the most amazing, most beautiful places in England. You know, two or three hundred acres of nearly 6,000 acres of the estate is this beautiful stud farm that's been producing great horses for, you know, 150 years or so. Harry Herbert, the founder of Highclere Thoroughbred Racing, is part of a family that for 400 years can trace its roots to this estate and to the Carnarvon title, both of which form the basis for characters and storylines of the hit British drama. Hello, this is Mr. Carson the butler of Downton Abbey. It's very accurate and, I mean, Carson, I mean, honestly, could be Robert Taylor, the butler that I grew up with. Highclere Castle is almost known now as Downton Abbey. The public have got to see Highclere, but I want them to see the horsey bit. The family has been famous before. The fifth Earl of Carnarvon, Harry's great-grandfather, was one of the discoverers of the tomb of Tutankhamun in Egypt. But the family business has always put its stock in equines rather than actors or antiquities. My great-grandfather, Fred Blenheim, who won the derby, my grandfather was a great racing man and bred lovely top-class horses. And of course, Her Majesty the Queen, my father looked after all of her in racing interests for many, many years, the best friends. She would often come down here, and still does, to see her horses. We move now to the Disraeli Syndicate. The horses now average 100,000 guineas. Highclere might have plenty of royal connections, but its syndicate's participants nowadays are more often not aristocrats. They just play them on TV. You're going to be a winner, eh? Fabulous. The sport of kings. I mean, that it is the sport of kings when the king started the game. Let everyone aspire to play in the sport of kings. And my passion is to find folks to get involved in this great sport and to come and enjoy this place and be a part of it and come race with us and you know, have a hell of a fun time.